Alright guys, Joe Otago from MassMomentumCoaching.com. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, the four key elements of success. I don't know who these came from. I wrote this down in September of 2010 and I never went over it with you guys. So I thought that um, I just found it and I thought I'd go over it with you. So um, it came from a morning wake up call. I'm assuming it was um, probably Adam Chandler or Nicole Cooper. Um, don't quote me on who specifically it was, but it doesn't even matter. Let's go right into it. So um, it comes down to a few simple, simple things um, repeated over a long period of time is what success is. There is a gestation period and um, it does take time, right? And there's also a process that happens internally uh, in order to have success. So number one is persistence and patience. So you understand it will take time. Nothing happens overnight. So just remember, you just got to keep doing something over and over again to become good at it. And once you become good at it, then, you know, you can teach other people to become good at it. And once you do that, then you can start to begin to see some real revenue generated within your business. All right. Number two is it takes vision more than just goals. So, um, you know, think about it like, you know, you have a hundred things you want to do before you die, like your bucket list, right? So you want to create a vision and you need to see this stuff happening um, and connect with them and spend time visualizing it. So a lot of people like to go out and test drive cars. Um, if you really want a specific car, go out and test drive it. That's what they allow you to test drive it for. Um, you may not have the funds available in the bank right now to purchase that car, but if you go and test drive it, it'll, it'll help you more than just visualize it, but you can feel it. You can associate the smell, the thought, the feeling, um, so you can revisit that later on. Um, so vision and intention, kind of to, to, to add to that, which was part two, is, you know, um, you got to be specific. You know, you got to be specific with what you want. So, like I said, if you say you want a, a car, right, what type of car, what color car, what color interior do you want, what year do you want, you know, what make, model, all that kind of stuff, and then go test drive it. When you're that specific um, with, your, with your intent and your vision, it tends to happen qu quicker and, um, and obviously then it give, you get more of exactly what you're looking for. Um, also, confidence. You know, you got to make peace with with one and two. You got to understand, you know what you want and you know that you're going to get it. Um, and you just have to know that you have what it takes inside you. You have what it takes inside of yourself to make it happen. You have that kind of confidence. You move life making the decisions necessary that will get you closer to that goal. Um, because generally, it just really comes from the, the internal communication, what you feel inside will help you take the steps towards getting what you want that's you know outside of you those goals and dreams that you want it takes you having the confidence and the knowledge and the skills um, and really the vision to then take the proper steps moving forward to get what you want and then lastly is you help enough people get what they want and you get what you want so I'm gonna talk about this a little later but if you can visualize your team members getting what they want Find out really what their dreams and goals are, right? And then you got to help them get those. And, and by default, by you doing that, you help you get yours. So that's it for now, guys. Remember to take massive action. You have massive momentum and you have massive results. I'll see you all at MassMomentumCoaching.com.